So in this problem, we're told an 85 gram arrow is fired from a bow whose string exerts an average force of 105 newtons on the arrow over a distance of 75 centimeters. What is the speed of the arrow as it leaves the bow? So what we have here is this bow, and we know the arrow on it is 85 grams. And so there's going to be a force exerted on it, right? 105 newtons. So let's write down our given. So given... So we know F is 105 newtons, so the force being applied when it's fired, over some distance of 75 centimeters. So how are we going to solve for this? So we know we're given force and distance, and so automatically that clues me into the idea of work, where work is equal to force times distance. So since I'm given this, I know uh, I can find the work. And they're wanting us to find the speed of the arrow. So I want to find velocity. I have work as a result of the force and distance. Now, how can I relate velocity and work? Now, I know based on the kinetic or the work energy theorem, basically that work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. Okay. And so if I know that, what is kinetic energy? So the formula for kinetic energy is one half mv squared so ke we'll just say that's the variable for kinetic energy equals one half mv squared so now i have related velocity to my force and distance and so basically i can use this to calculate it so if we know work equals force times distance and it equals the change of kinetic energy all we got to do is solve for v so the first thing we're going to want to do is solve for work so as i said before work equals force times distance so 105 times 75 centimeters is 0.75 meters. We need to make sure they're in the standard units, or the standard units. So 105 times 0.75 is 78.75, and we measure work in joules. So this is the work, and then work equals the change in kinetic energy. So we're going to have uh, 78.75 equals 1 half mv uh, final squared, minus one half mv initial squared so the initial and final uh, kinetic energy so keep in mind though that initially it starts from rest so the initial velocity is going to be zero since it just starts from rest and then we apply it so this is actually just zero since v is zero this whole term becomes zero so really we have 78.75 equals one half mv and i'm just going to call it v now v squared so to solve for the velocity uh, we just got to isolate v now. So multiply both sides by 2, uh, divide by m, and then all you have to do is square root both sides to get rid of this square. So now we have the velocity, what we're solving for, equals the square root of 2 times 78.75, and then divide by the mass. So the mass, they tell us, is 85 grams, so 0 0.085 kilograms we need to make sure it's in the right units right so plug this in now so second square root of 2 times 78.75 divided by 0 0.085 and you're gonna get that it equals 43 yeah so 43 meters per second so let's write that down v equals 43 meters per second and yeah so this is gonna be the velocity and that's what they want us to find. So what is the speed of the arrow as it leaves the bow? 43 meters per second. So all we did here was relate uh, work, right, which is force times distance to the work kinetic energy theorem. And we know kinetic energy is this. And yeah, so the hard part was just relating all the variables, but in using all the formulas you learned from this chapter. But uh, yeah, so this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.